So here we are outside. We're going to uh, measure the return loss on a 23 centimetre Yagi. This is an M squared 35 element. It's a 23 cm 35. It's uh, generally pointed upwards, just mounted off uh, by about two feet on the ladder. Out here I've got a camera and the laptop with the Synth MV. Let's get into it. The Synth MV's already hooked up to the laptop in the arrangement here. We've got a uh, 10 dB SMA attenuator coming out of the RF output port. This provides the, uh, the proper 50 ohm load. There's a double SMA adapter, which goes into the Mac technology one to two gig uh, directional coupler. The uh, coupled port, it's uh, arranged so that we're going to be me measuring reflected power. The coupled port goes back into the RF in detector. There's 800 millimeters of LMR195 just to uh, get to the driven element. The way to start a return loss measurement is to keep this open circuit so then what happens is that 100% of your power is being reflected back which translates to a return loss of 0 dB so then we can calibrate the detector input and level uh, any uh, peaks and troughs that we might be getting from all the, uh, the leads and adapters and what have you. So we're going to start this sweep at 1190 megahertz and we'll take it all the way up to 1340. I think that's a pretty good range for a 23 centimetre feed. Our step size will be 1 megahertz and our step um, time will be 5 milliseconds. So every 5 milliseconds it's going to step up a meg and just loop to do that sweep. Make sure the RF power is on and we'll set it at a nominal value. You don't need a lot of power when you're uh, testing antenna feeds at all start the sweep. We'll turn the network analysis on. There you go. Just press take cal data and now we'll turn that calibration data on. So that's being applied and as you can see we've leveled things out and we now have a trace at 0 dB. Let's hook it up to the feed see what we get. Just keep myself away. Now that's actually quite a nice plot. Um, just like the manufacturer claims, it's good from uh, 1250 to 1300. A few little bumps there. But our particular point of interest in Australia is at 1296. And we can see the return loss there. Uh, it's about 20 minus 21. So that's uh, better than a 1.2 to 1 SWR. Quite happy about that. Anyone who plays satellites should be happy with this aerial as well, because down at 1250, uh, there's a good return loss. And if you um, use this uh, antenna vertically polarised for FM work, you can see that all the uh, repeater outputs are around 1293, there's a good return loss there. And if we go down to 1273 for the repeater inputs, it's a, a good match there as well. What we can do, we can expand the scale. So uh, at the moment I've just set that to uh, plus 10 to minus 40. We can always expand that up. Let's go to um, say five and minus 30. So that's looking pretty good. So as you can see, it's pretty quick and easy to uh, do a return loss sweep on your Yagi.